All right. So <laughs> we, just, we just started recording. All right. So we have Jam and Toast and versus Artifice on the stream right now. It's gonna be losers semis. Uh, got my pal here. Not Mark Kafka. Uh, I, I just we just met for the first yeah. time, and this is Chip on the microphone. Uh, right now we're doing stage strikes. Um, I believe the matchup is Falco versus Fox. Fox. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you know too much about Artifice, but uh, he's a kind of a veteran player around here in Eastern Washington. Uh -huh. He uses Fox, Falco. He used to be a peach man, but he's probably the most technical player here in Eastern yeah. Washington. And then uh, Jam and Toast is very big up and coming in uh, the hosting scene yes. and in the playing scene. So Absolutely. Looking for big things coming out of him and uh, when Smash 4 comes out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This kid, this is one of the most ambitious guys you'll ever see. Like, like Jam and Toast, I, I've been in this scene since 2006, uh -huh. all right? I've never seen anybody so dedicated and ambitious at reviving a Smash scene as Jam and Toast is. Oh, it's his favorite game, and it really shows in yes. the effort he puts in. Yes, dude. He's a, he's a really passionate fellow, and he, he's done a lot for the community. So shout-outs to him. We wouldn't be here with this excellent uh, recording setup, uh, Ice Smash, all that, this tournament. It's all hosted by Jam and Toast. Big ups. Really. Big ups. Yes, absolutely. Okay, I think we're, the stage is going to be Yoshi. Yoshi's. It's looking like it's going to be picked. We're hovering. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, so match starts. Uh, so, all right, so Jamin is just going in. He does not give a fuh. And uh, let's see, lots of shines so far. You know, it's a typical shine, uh, spacey matchup going on here. Uh, what do you think, um, who do you think is the underdog here? That's a good question. You know, I haven't seen, uh... I uh, haven't seen Artifice play at all, but uh, I know Ben has kicked my butt, uh, Jam and <laughs> kicked my butt a lot of times in Smash, so uh, it looks like he's not doing so hot coming out of the box, though. Already lost, yeah. uh, down a stock, only 58% on Fox, so. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's that's got to hurt. That's not good coming that out. That was a gimp, but it was also <laughs> not totally Casey's yeah. uh, uh, success, so it was kind of just jamming, kind of killing himself, which is cool. Uh, in matchups like these, uh, Spacey versus Spacey, I'd say right now it's kind of a Falco's overall has the advantage against uh -huh. Fox per se. But uh, I don't know, it's just a weird matchup. Like they both have a lot of uh, potential and combo ability against each other. Fox uh, has more gimping and edge guarding ability against Falco, but Falco has a better time controlling the neutral game and getting combos on Fox. So that's kind of how the matchup plays out. Um, Fox is, you're gonna see Falco using a lot of lasers against Fox, uh, as you can see Jam and Toast doing here. And uh, uh, Casey Artifice is gonna be trying to using a lot of full hop uh, neutral airs like he's doing right there. Oh, that was almost sick. That was so sick. That was a good jab reset into forward smash, but he didn't connect. Good read with the back air. Ooh, I don't know what he's going for there, but that was cool. It was close. Um, but yeah, so you'll see uh, Fox trying to like pop in over Falco's lasers with a full hop. Nice edge guard by Artifice. Yeah, we saw some decent edge guard coming out of Jam and Toast, but mm -hmm. it looks like Artifice is able to turn it around. Yeah. On. All right, let's see what Jam That's can good do. though. If Jam and Toast can take him down here. It's gonna be very good for him. Definitely. Oh, right dude, he, there we go. That's, that's what, he what he's looking for. That's the train, dude. <laughs> Once the train starts, anybody can ride it. Jam and Toast Express, bro. All right, spacing some backers, some dash attacks. That's real good. All right, they're both playing very cautious right now, which is okay. Uh, if one player is playing overly cautious, it's not good. Uh, but they're both playing pretty cautious right now, so it's not gonna be bad for either player. Um, Jammin just has to get some momentum going again. With that train. Yeah, he's down to one stock here, so Artifice, he's you know he's got that option of playing a little more aggressive if yes. he wants to start doing that. Yes, he does. And see, see how he gets Falco off the edge like that and just shines a bunch. Yeah. That's that's the scariest thing in the world for Falco because in one shine, he's done. Because Falco has a really horrible recovery, so one shine might just kill him at zero percent even. Nice neutral. That's good. Air. That's what he wants. Nice for smash. Nice, oh, excellent ledge Stalled by the there. shy guy. Where are you at, shy guy? Just helping out Jam and Toast. That's, that's what's up. All right, combo. That's what he needs. Up tilts, down air. And it, right now, Hard it's read. just like that. It's even back. Yeah, up. it's totally anyone's even. game at this point. Actually, he's in the lead now. Oh, that was risky, but that was a good choice. Oh, 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 oh the hard damn. Read. Oh, the back air, the nair. Oh, 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 there we go. The train. Game Jam and Toast. The train. That looked a little rough for him initially when he came yeah. out of the box, right? Just losing two stocks immediately, but he brought it back. Excellent yeah. play on both You know, both that's sides. what you don't want to happen, yeah. but when you can recover from something like that, it's, it's one of the greatest feelings ever, man. It's so good. All right, so I wonder where the counter pick is going to be. Yeah. 
KC Artifice is thinking really hard right now about counter pick. See the thing. See, I play Artifice all the time, uh -huh. and his favorite stage by by far is Yoshi's story. Like by far, like far away. So, so that's that, not good for him yeah, to lose yeah, initially yeah. there. So he might, it might be a salty run back. We, we or he might, might even go it. right back to it. Yeah, like, yeah, salty run back. Yep. There we go. That's it. I, I would have expected this or FD, but he also hates FD. So. All right. So game two, uh, Jam Toast made a pretty clutch victory in the last game. Um, and they're just kind of playing it out, just kind of feeling each other again. A lot of couch cancel jab punishes. Some technical errors here. Oh, that was a Ooh. really nice thunders combo attempt right there by Kit. That uh, really was a little nice. scary for Jam and Toast there for a second. Yeah. You know, I think the cool thing, the thing about these players is that they're both really technical, but when they get into a tournament setting, I think one of their biggest weaknesses is just converting. Uh, they might get an awesome, you know, wave shine or a great L cancel down or something, but they really need to convert it into something else. And they're either really good at it, or sometimes they might choke a little bit. So. And that can easily happen when nerves yeah. are on. It, it's, oh, it's, yeah. I mean, very high stakes and very, uh, you can get nervous real quick and everything just goes to hell. Nice recovery. Yeah, especially with uh, space animal characters, because they're, they're so fast. So technical savvy. Like, you have to be, like, on point with every single move. All right, so Jam and Toast. Uh, uh, actually, Casey takes an early lead. Artifice. Right now, I'm just seeing a spacey battle. It's just kind of a battle of uh, who can stay on top right now. They're they're both actually very evenly matched players. Yeah. Yeah, I played both of them quite frequently, and I I'd say this is pretty pretty close. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I, any one of them won, to be honest. Ooh, nice shine. Ooh. Oh, that was very good. Ouch. All right, so Jam Toast is kind of resorting to a more candy. Yeah, some good lasers coming yeah, out. Yeah, Not yeah. really accomplishing that much, you know, 5%. But it, it is keeping him at yeah. keeping Artifice Very at bay, and that's that's important, too. That is what he wants, especially when he's at 96%. Yeah, he just kind of wants scary. to feel him out, kind of, yeah. like, hold him back, you know, like, don't come at me too much, bro. Like, I need to get my footing again. That wasn't a good choice, but uh, I see what he's trying to do there. 4B actually has more uh, cover. Like, it'll get you farther than yeah. up B will, but... Okay, Casey coming with some coming in with some heat. Jam and toast with more lasers. Artifice just doing a lot of drill shines and back airs. Ooh, an unfortunate SD. It is not looking so good for Jam and Toast in the second round. Why? Alright, good grab. Ooh, oh, nice that back was air. very nice. Even with Randall trying to disrupt him like that, he's just like, get out of here, Randall. Excellent ledge, uh, ledge I'm guard. controlling this fool. Nice shine. You'll see some of the, the cleanest shine combos out of Artifice in the state of Washington. I'm not, no joke. Like when he's playing on point, like he is an extremely technical player. Uh, like he'll just do he'll do like what? double, triple sh jump cancel shines against your shield. It's it's crazy stuff, but you know when he starts going under pressure like this, you won't see it as yeah. much. Ooh, he's baiting uh, the grab and he gets it. Oh, what is that? Oh, that was Jim unfortunate. Accidentally kills himself. He's again. he was probably just trying to jump up with the yeah. one laser, but he didn't he didn't jump far enough to land on the stage. Yeah, and and it's dangerous when you're playing that game, you know. Yeah. Like living off the edge, it's 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 you can easily fall off. Yeah. That's the, that's just happens with this game. I love that shit. Looks like Pokey Doki. Pokemon Stadium. Pokey Doki. Pokey My personal Doki. favorite stage. Oh, is it? Oh, only because I love Pokemon. Oh, I feel it. What? Who do you main, by the way? Uh, on Smash? Yeah. Uh, Kirby, because I play a lot of N64. Okay. And he's really strong in N64. <laughs> he's actually, he's really, really good in that game, and he, for some reason he sucks booty in this game. Yeah, he's very good in Project M, though. Oh, is he? It's a little closer to... He, he, the way he functions in Project M is a lot closer to the way he functions That's in good. 64. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. 64 is all, you know, zero-to-death combos, a high-level play, so right. it's, it's not the same game that we're seeing here. Yeah. Like, this game has a lot of frequent zero-to-deaths, but not nearly yeah. as much as Smash 64. Yeah. Not nearly as much. The hit, hit stun isn't nearly as... Uh, uh, and there's air recovery and all that. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a good power shield by Artifice. Okay, so, you know, between these characters and an objective standpoint, 
um, on this stage, it's it's pretty much dead even. Like yeah. you're you're gonna see foxes and falco. Nice down air to forward air, good. forward smash. That was really good. Back air. Yep. Oh, clean edge guard. That's what you gotta We've do. We've seen him do that one uh, before, and he's he really loves that move. Yeah, it's been very effective. Yeah, if he keeps doing that, it's done deal. Um, but Fox can do that too against Falco. That's the thing. Ooh, good combo. See, just little bits like that, just chunks. That's what you want. It's just icing on the cake. Um, but yeah, both these characters just thrive on the stage. You'll see them uh, counterpicking Pokemon Stadium that against each other a lot. Too. Yeah, ledge hop back here. It's just, it's just a clean way to finish off a stock. Ooh, this is the recovery. Uh, okay, probably not the best choice to throw it though. Yeah, see, he wants to up throw Falco. That's the thing Fox yeah. wants to do. He wants to throw Falco up. He can either chain grab him, he can up smash him, he can nair him, he can do whatever he wants with him. <laughs> and Falco can't do that against Fox. So. Uh, hard read there, doesn't work out for him. Nice dare against the shield to grab, almost a re grab again. Uh, Alright. <laughs> Some flub smashes we've been seeing here, okay. It's all right. It doesn't cost either player because they're both doing it. Nice jab. Oh, shine. Yep. Ooh. Oh, nice tag. Oh, man. Wow. He was straight under the stage yep. there. You don't see that a that lot. Was, that was balling right there. Nice laser to force out. I'm going to just say, Jamatos is playing a lot better in this match than he was last. Yeah. Like, he's playing he a lot more. I fighting. mean, for one thing, like he hasn't that. accidentally killed himself. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, that's why. And he's he's punishing a lot harder. He's yeah. comboing a lot harder. Artifice really needs to pull himself together and, and find the openings that Falco leaves uh, for for Fox to come in yeah. and punish. Jam and Tosa's <laughs> gone right into the zone here, and that's a little scary mm -hmm. for Artifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice backer. Ooh, oh, good recovery. Okay, that was very good. Yeah, that was close to being really bad, though. <laughs> All right, so let's see if Jamma can hang on to this finish and just have a solid three or two stock, uh, or if Casey can bring back the train, the clutch train. What do you think Artifice needs to do right now in order to pull through here? Well, I think, I mean, for one thing, he really needs to pull it out, and that's That's not it. it. Yeah, there you that's go. That's definitely not it. So we have a game. Good games to both players. Yeah, and very next well match, played, very close. Next match is Losers Finals. Yeah. All right. Good job, man. Oh, thank you.